afternoon and oh boy oh boy look who we have here now it is time for our party scoop <laughs> one scoop not two Craig Robinson Saving is joining us here as we are here to talk a little politics this morning and so what's new well you know it's a it's another week another uh, set of announcements so yesterday was uh, Jeb Bush's announcement uh, where he formally entered the race uh, today is Donald Trump mm -hmm. and um, and then apparently July 13th is going to be Scott Walker and then it's uh, you know, then there's only one or two more that'll probably enter the race. So we're what are we up know, to now? I think we'll get to a baker's dozen, uh, but I think we're at officially 11, 12 with Trump. Okay. Well, time out, time out. Let's back up a little bit. Let's, yeah. let's cover that news that came out uh, last week. <laughs> oh, we oh the you want to talk about the, the tough See, news. Yeah, <laughs> you're lucky Jeff Link isn't here because he would have a party head on right now. Well, I, as you've told us before confetti. on the program, you organize the event. Yeah. We're talking about the straw poll. You uh, have in the past. You mm -hmm. have in the past yeah. helped organize the right. event. You've been a part of it. You've been on the inside. And when you organize it, it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> We've now been told information that it is officially yeah. dead, which I think is smart. Right. Whatever side of the fence you're on. Um, but let's hear from you about what's going on. Uh, the number one thing uh, in pulling the event off is, is, is that you can, as an Iowan or, or a member of the Republican Party of Iowa, you can want to have that event as badly as you want, but if the candidates themselves have to want to participate. And, and for that, that means they have to be able to get something out of it uh, politically. And so this cycle, I think for a number of reasons, we have candidates who aren't they look at the event and they don't know what they're going to get out of it. It could be more of a hassle than a than a than a tool that they could use for their campaigns, even with this huge field. And so um, I think the biggest difference this time around was is you had someone like Mike Huckabee who had a, a, an Iowa strategy. I mean, Iowa is a must-win state for him, and, and he decided not to play. And it's because he's already proven himself. I mean, he's won the Iowa caucuses before. Rick Santorum's won the Iowa caucuses before. And so why would you put it all on the line in August uh, when you're uh, just getting started and say, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll let all these guys take a shot at me to knock me off. Mm -hmm. And um, and the same, those, that's a new dynamic because those two guys aren't necessarily at the top of the polls, but it applies also to the guys at the top, like a Scott Walker. And so... I think there was a number of, of things that were done. I wasn't a big fan of any of the changes they made because you need some certainty when you're dealing with presidential campaigns. They don't like the unknown. And so when you start changing the venue, when you start changing the rules and you don't really know what to expect, it makes these presidential campaigns say, hey, I, I mean, I, I'm not inclined to participate anyway, but now I don't even know what this event's going to be like or, mm. or be, you know, even on the ground organizationally, what my team needs to do that day. Um, so we're not gonna have it. And I know there's a lot of people who grumble that we're not gonna have this great outdoor uh, festivity, but you know, I wrote a column yesterday that was like, don't be afraid of what it's gonna be like without the straw poll. I mean, we're still gonna have 12 to 15 candidates running around <laughs> the state. And I think it, 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 and the other big change that no one really talks about, the last two caucuses have been on January 3rd. This one's going to be a month later, and so we're going to have this whole month of January, which I think is going to be new, and it's going to be this really big buildup without any holidays thrown in there mm. uh, to kind of, you know, was stop and go in December. It's like Thanksgiving, you get a break, and then it's intense, and then it's like, oh, we got to be careful with the holidays. So we're going to have this whole dynamic. The legislature is going to be in town. The caucuses are going to be in the final days. Really intense amount of of attention on Iowa, and I think it's going to be fascinating to watch. Now, a lot of people are worried that this is a knock against Iowa, against our first in the nation status when it comes to presidential, uh, you know, voting and, and, and nominations and things yeah. like that. So, is this a knock against? Well, anyone Iowa? who doesn't like Iowa's first in the nation status will use any excuse to be a knock. Um, I don't necessarily think so. I mean, I, I think, I think one of the problems that Iowa has had in the past is they take. They take the straw poll, which they criticize, and lump it with our caucuses and just say, ah, it all sucks. And, and then they, and, and so this is different. And I think that 
what you'll see is is that without the straw poll, which makes it hard to campaign here for other candidates who might not necessarily be in it to win, it's hard to campaign in a state when the focus is on a named straw poll, right? Mm -hmm. And it's July. And how would you campaign if you're in town? Like, everyone's going to this big event but me, and then I show up and they're like, well, why aren't you going to the straw poll? And they're like, well, I'm just not going. It, it makes it really awkward. And so I think we're going to see a different dynamic in Iowa where we're going to have campaigns like, you know, John Kasich's going to come to town here in a couple weeks. Um, he's not someone that you expect to do really well in Iowa. Um, he's low in the polls nationally and in New Hampshire, but he's just not kind of the fit that you look for for Iowa politically for Republicans. And I think this creates an opportunity where he can use Iowa differently, and other candidates like him can use Iowa differently, where you can come to Iowa just to get national news attention. Um, and then maybe that helps him in New Hampshire or other states. So without the straw poll, I think it really changes. Uh, I think a candidate now has a full menu of say, well, how do I want to utilize the state? Um, where, you know, John Huntsman never came here except to debate. Um, now I think, you know, if this was four years ago, I think you'd see John Huntsman strolling the Iowa State Fairgrounds or coming to multi-candidate events where there's a big stage where they can make national news. Mm -hmm. And so I think this is actually a good development for Iowa's first in the nation status from the Republican side. And I think that uh, it'll be fascinating. As an observer, I, I like that the dynamic's changing a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's really gonna be up to the campaigns themselves to see who utilizes this in a way that'll benefit them that maybe those options weren't on the table for them, you know, two weeks ago. What was the original date for the straw poll? It was August 8th. August the 8th. Okay, but right about the start of the fair. Actually, yeah, and the, this is a year, weird year for the fair. The fair starts late. Right. And so, um, you know, typically the, the straw poll goes on uh, that first weekend of the fair. And so you have every candidate rushes to the fair to get in because you can't plan your fair day after the straw poll because A, a it's a great earned media hit. Uh, to go there, but B, what if you what if you had a really bad you get blown out? You get yeah. blown out, then you can't go to the fair. Right. So everyone used to <laughs> everyone used to pack into those early days. So do you think we'll have all of our players in place as if the straw poll is going to be taken at the beginning of August? You think we'll have yeah. all the players in place by middle of July? Yeah, I think everyone will be in. Okay, um, I, I think Walker might be one of the last ones in. I think we're still waiting for an official announcement from Chris Christie, but after that, I think and Bobby Jindal is going to uh, go here in a in a week or so. So I think everyone's going to be in this race. I think the debates are going to be huge in terms of, of, of really separating out this big field. But again, I think that the, you know, we're going to have a big Republican debate in Iowa, Fox News debate. On, sorry if uh, that offends anyone on the station. Oh, who cares? <laughs> but, but anyway, <laughs> we're going to have a big debate, and I think the other Long thing is, Smith comes, it's going to be this okay. huge. It'll be this huge ordeal. I, I've been to some debates in other states, and they they blow it out. It's a huge. I mean, all the festivities around it, and I think this. This time, without the straw poll, I think we might have some well, other events that people want to. I'm just saying we're of. we're going to be at the fair. Interesting take. We're going to be at the fair. Obviously, uh, the the TV station is going to be at the fair. The straw poll may not be dead. We might have our own there straw poll. And using straws, and take a straw and and vote for who you want to vote for. So the straw poll may not be dead. Is there anything you can drink out of the straw? You, I use that for that. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you met us before? <laughs> well, that's Channel what I'm 13 uses the kernels, the but ours yes. will be we'll longer. be the straw. We'll have <laughs> Something a legitimate longer. Yeah. straw Did, poll. Same idea. Long one. If people want more information or want to follow what you're talking about here today, uh, where can they do that? Yeah, it's uh, just theiowarepublican.com, right. and it's all all things Iowa, all things. And Florida. are you going to be following Trump around today? I'm, I'm going to go to his event tonight, and uh, you know I didn't get invited out to the New York thing. I mean that would have been fun. Oh, but. Can you tug on the hair for us and let us know? <laughs> no. What it's like. <laughs> no, I've been on his plane where he was rough with the camera guys. Oh, so I saw that. Scraping yeah. the top. I'm not going to go to his head. Don't put the cameras. <laughs> on my roof. <laughs> 732. We'll be right back.